Tampa, the 43-year-old car dealer, the 2014 Camaro of Keith Haney. All the dealerships racing jobs. Listen up, Huddleston Performance Top Juniors for Virginia qualifying to lane one. Now, if you're in the Lockingham race, we want you in lane two. Huddleston Performance Top Juniors, Virginia qualifiers to lane one. And if you're in the Rockingham event still in eliminations, go to lane two. Thank you, Huddleston Performance Top Juniors. She's coming to the line. Oh, look who's up. Who's back? Back up, yeah. oh, hold on, Thunder 104, <laughs> they're going to they're they're gonna gonna scratch gonna that wax for us. <laughs> oh, man, that, we'd have too much fun. We get in trouble here. Yeah, another we're drink is lemonade time. trouble. So the racing junk, all my dealerships, and everything this man has done has put him right here today, right here in the left lane. Keith Haney out of Oklahoma. Where in Oklahoma? Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Said that... Uh, this guy, brand new car, Larry Jeffers car, right? Yep. Brand new, big power. This yeah. is him. This is the guy. This is him. This is the guy that waited behind the wheel for you. And this is got one of them guys with a BTV motor. <laughs> <laughs> you get a chance to watch him. Here he is, Keith Andy. Chris Patrick will be in the right side. Patrick, who I love the car. I mean, it's a gorgeous looking Chevrolet. From Nelson Power, Chris Nelson, who's down there out of the state of Florida. Boom tuning. And the engine going. And I'm not kidding, he lifted. Yeah, that thing was coming hard to the left side, meaning the retaining wall, and he got out of her a little bit and feathered her down there for number two, right under the four foot four Danny Perry's car. Or no, Danny Perry was a grain dryer. Yep. In the brand new race cars, and uh, we just left Leg Bones pit area and came down a couple more trailers and uh, caught up with Keith Haney. And Keith, it's been one of the most kind of talked about. Uh, discre uh, I should say discreet, if, if that's the right word to use. Uh, wildest cars to come out, and uh, it's looking pretty good right off the bat. <laughs> well, you know, I probably should have lifted a little bit sooner there in that run, but it did real good. You know, I left the starting line. Everything was going good, but it kept drifting to the left, and eventually I got out there in the pebbles and uh, had to lift, and, you know, I was pretty – I was pretty amazed there was a 393 up on the board at 171. Way off on our mile an hour, obviously, you know, we list, lifted at that point. But, uh, you know, uh, made four hits at the Rockingham, uh, tested over there. Uh, Earwood did a real good job, and their people there did a real good job prepping the track. So we made four hits and turned around and went, you know, loaded the car up and come here. And then last night we had that issue with the uh, trans brake. It stuck on me. So we went, and that's like a hundred and something dollar tranny brake button. So guess what I did? I went to the local parts store, yeah, got me a nineteen, got a nineteen dollar one, and that I sucker will never. I said it'd be twelve or thirteen bucks. Yeah, maybe it was, it was nineteen. It was eighteen something. But anyway, so we got that in there, and obviously, you know, it shows that it worked uh, this particular time. But we were, uh, we we were basically on the testing side of it. You know, we were just creeping up and creeping up, uh, and it was pretty amazing what we ran uh, in Rockingham. Uh, but coming down here, we were hoping to go a little bit, a little bit faster, and hopefully they'll get the adjustments done to the car, and we'll be able to roll again the next uh, qualifying hit after the rain. Looks like the rain stopped now, yeah, so out. so uh, hopefully we'll be able to get up there and do it again. And that that pass was probably a, the way we calculated it was a low 80. Yeah, it clearly looked like it was. The front. Let's go this way real quick so we get some more shots of the car. It's a uh, it's a Larry Jeffers Pro Car as you can see the logo right there. We'll let Jimmy snoot around and, and Jimmy, if the opportunity arises, look at how detailed that thing is on the inside. Tell the folks out there that are with us on uh, Motor Mania TV, this thing has got a true automatic transmission and above other trick items. Well, most of the guys in the class are running a clutch or a Bruno Linko, and we decided to try the uh, the Rosler uh, three speed automatic with a lockup in it. We have two setups, one for legal pro mod, yeah. so the car can go legal, and then we got uh, one for pro nitrous, which is what the car was built for to run the PDRA. So we're excited about, you know, this whole combination. A little new to a lot of people, but it's pretty simple, pretty simple. What would you say, sir? 
You sure? Yeah, I don't care. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, the best part about it is I got the best guys doing the job. You know, I got a remorse and power, and I've got um, Lucas Oil backing us, and we got Racing Junk backing us, and we got Brandon um, Schweitzer uh, doing the tuning on it along with, along with uh, Brandon Pez. And then the the great group of guys that are sitting here. So you yeah, know. you got a well of a group of good guys here. Man. Well, they come right back from the run. They had it up. They had it all done. They've already leaked the motor. Um, may have to tear it down this evening. You know, yeah. I probably should have got out. And if I would have, uh, um, probably wouldn't have had a couple little. So it's a little weak. Not too bad though. It'll still run. Just a little, just a little bit down on a couple cylinders, probably. Just a few cylinders. It'll it's still got a lot of left in her. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited about being here. You know, for the PDRA. Um, great group of guys, great, great ownership. You know, sat and talked to Henson a little bit yesterday. Talked about the Tulsa race uh, and how how exciting it was to have a great race there. You know, and we're looking forward to next week. We got the Throwdown in T Town. Yeah. So that's one of the baddest races in the. I'm coming. I know, and you're announcing, <laughs> and uh, it'll be it'll be a good show. But this weekend, our goal is uh, to come out with this brand new car. And like I said before, we're not a pretender anymore. We're a contender, and um, we'll let the scoreboards do it. Um, but the main thing is I want to win the race. Yeah. And next year I want to be number one. I'll tell you what he said from day number one, this thing was going to be a top three or four qualifier. I think right now after one you are number three. Oh, I, I don't even know. I ain't even looked. Uh, you know, we ran. It ran all right. And, uh, and uh, four, I mean, it didn't run all right. But I mean, it did. Your car run fine. It was the yeah. driver. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, again, you know, with, with Rear Morrison and them, they're just – I mean, he, look, sit there. Look, you got Brad right here in the pits. Yeah. He's over there doing a leak down on it. I mean, you, you can't get a great, good, you know, customer service from him. Brandon, you got Dan sitting there, Carver. He's sitting there working on the motor. Yeah. You got Brad and Brad and, I mean, Brandon and Brandon both inside the trailer. I mean, yeah. these guys all come over and they get Jim Larita's here helping yeah. out. Um, I think they're, it's hard, Stokens, me, and uh, I think there's a few more of a, a Brandon stuff. I don't know all the racers that sure. have his stuff on it, but. You know, the biggest deal is I believe in the this group, uh, this combination of people, and I believe that in the in the future to come, you're gonna see you're gonna see it. So, and like I told Brad and the guys at Rear, I said, let me tell you something. It don't matter if I gotta buy a thousand inch motor. You will buy it. I'm gonna buy it, or one way or one way or another, we're gonna do what I said we were gonna do. And I'm not usually cocky, but let me tell you what. Larry Jeffers built the car, and these guys got. The, I'm I'm all over it. I love it. It's a great ride. It rides like a Cadillac too. Yeah, it looked like it looked like it was riding like a Cadillac earlier when it was sucking so close to that wall out there. I just want to say congratulations. I know your wife is on two with the kids. By the way, say hi to her. Well, yeah. My wife, Deanne, I love you, honey. Thanks for letting me do what I do. You know, and the, one of the things this weekend that's kind of kind of got me a little bit down, but in the same case, being in the car is exciting, but my son's football game, I'm going to miss it, and I haven't missed one all year. You know, we did competitive baseball, and then I coach. I coached it. Yeah, you coach everything. And we were third in World Series, and we went 8-0 in the fall yeah. ball, and then now we started this, and we're 5-1, and one, and, you know, and, and missing this weekend's game, it's a pretty big game. So missing it's going to be a little tough tomorrow about noon. I see you just about it. opened up dealership number seven or eight also this week. <laughs> we just opened up this week. We just got our the sixth load of uh, Mitsubishis. So we opened one up in Bixby, Oklahoma. So now we're a Mitsubishi dealer, Green Country. And then along with the other uh, uh, five other stores that go along with it, you know, I couldn't do it without all the great staff that I have out there, you sure. know, 400 employees, and I've got uh, four or five partners, and, sure. and, and and without them, I couldn't do what I'm doing either. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. Hey, thank, you, hey, hey, thank you for being such a good man to this sport and to me. Well, thank you all for inviting me in and treating me, treating me like gold. I appreciate it. He is a man of gold, I promise. He's got a heart of gold. I'm not kidding you. If you ever want to get around a guy who can market stuff, Keith Haney's the guy. I've been in the room with him before. Jimmy, you have too. But not only does he like to do this right here, there ain't nothing he can't do, I promise you. Yeah, sorry where we left the Camaro up on the rocks. We'll be back. We're on a rain delay, but we'll be back in a few minutes. Hang with us here on PDRA TV.